so hello everyone today we are going to design a cmos inverter in tinkercad the cmos inverter is uh, one basic logic gate that implement a single variable boolean expression to implement one cmos inverter one nmos transistor and one pmos transistor is required the circuit diagram of cmos inverter is shown here so as you can see the pmos transistor is the source is connected to vdd the drain of both pmos and nmos transistors connected together and we are taking output from that terminal the gate terminal of both pmos and nmos connected together and we are applying the input signal b in and source of nmos transistor connected to ground and here the input you can apply through function generator or you can connect to one switch to apply input just to apply logic 0 or logic 1 and you can observe the output in oscilloscope or maybe just by connecting one simple led you can check the status of output now coming to the working mechanism of the cmos inverter when you are applying input 0 that is logic 0 which is less than the threshold voltage of NMOS transistor. So NMOS will be off and no current is flowing through NMOS transistor. And at the same time, when input is logic zero, the VGS K2 source voltage of PMOS transistor is negative. Let here, VDD equal to five volt, you are applying input equal to zero. So the gate source voltage of PMOS transistor will be minus five volt, which is less than threshold voltage of PMOS transistor and PMOS will be on. And see when the PMOS is on, this VDD is connected to the output node, and at the same time the NMOS is off. So the output you are getting logic one. So for input of logic zero, the output you are getting logic one. Similarly, when you are applying a logic one that is five volt here, see the NMOS transistor will be on because the get to source value VGS greater than threshold voltage of NMOS. So NMOS is conducting at the same time the value of VGS gate is at 5 volt, the source, is, source that is VDD is at 5 volt, so VGS value will be 0, which is greater than the threshold voltage of PMOS, and of course the PMOS will be off. So when you are applying VM equal to 5 volt, the PMOS transistor will be off, and NMOS is on, and see the output node is connected to ground, and you are getting the output equal to 0. So this circuit behaves like an inverter, so let us see how we can implement the same in Tinkercad and how we can verify its operation. Now coming to the Tinkercad window, so first place all the components such as breadboard and uh, just uh, place two LED then place the NMOS and PMOS take this one like this and also we need one power supply <clears throat> then to apply input maybe one switch is required Also, you can apply input uh, from function generator and you can display the output on CRO. Anyway, so here I'm taking one switch just to apply logic zero and logic one. And that's all. So let's connect it. So this is VDD and ground line. Yes, it is already set to five volt voltage. And then see the terminal. This is the gate terminal. This is drain source. So gate drain source, gate drain and source. So gate terminal of both the transistors connected together. 
here source of nmos transistor connected to ground source of pmos transistor connected to vdd i am taking a different color wire this one and from drain we are taking output so the output can be displayed here in the led so this is cathode which is connected through some register this is anode so i am uh, connecting the drain terminal this one this one is the drain this one is the drain so drain terminal of both the MOS transistor will be connected together and it is also connected to the LED output. <clears throat> so take the value of LED uh, such as 220 ohm, you can take one kilo ohm also. So this is the circuit configuration. Now it's time to configure the input. For input, let uh, this is a slide switch. So one terminal of this switch is connected to VDD. Another one terminal of this switch is connected to ground. And the, from the midpoint, you can take the output that is uh, depending on the position of the switch, the output may be zero or one, and it is connected to the gate terminal in CR. Okay. And also we can check the status of the LED here, whether the LED uh, means it is on or off, we can check the status. Uh, okay, let's connect one LED here. Means uh, what is the input, whether the input is one or zero, so you can see the status. So this one is your common switch. So now I'm going to connect it to this one. So again, you can change the value to 220 ohm. Now the circuit is ready. You can change the color of LED, let it is, uh, blue just check i'm applying the input is one just check the slide switch is in the left part that is now this terminal and this terminal they are connected terminal one and common terminal they are connected so i'm applying logic one at the input and at the output the led is off so output is zero so if i change the position of the switch now the common terminal of switch connected to ground that means we are applying the input logic zero and you can verify the same see the led input side led is off and see at the output we are getting logic one so it perfectly behaves like an inverter so instead of applying this switch and led so you can connect one <coughs> function generator and you can apply pulse through that square wave and you can verify the output in an oscilloscope, both input and output waveform, you can verify in an oscilloscope. But the problem is that in Tinkercad, the oscilloscope is there, it is a single channel oscilloscope, so you can visualize only one signal at a time. So you cannot compare the input signal with output signal, whether there is an inversion is going on or not, because uh, two signals are represented in a different way, so it is very difficult to detect whether that invert operation is going on or not. So, but here you can easily verify by connecting one LED and switch. So thank you all.